All right, smart response, creating a quiz. We're gonna look at how to insert questions into a quiz, basically in this part of the tutorial. Okay, first thing we wanna do is open up Smart Notebook, which is an icon on your desktop, much like the one we just clicked on. Go to the response tab up at the top of the page, click on it, and then click insert question. You can see we have multiple types of questions, um, yes or no, multiple choice, number fraction, true or false, and multiple answer. We are going to select multiple choice because that's pretty much the typical question we ask related to SOL testing and such. Click next. Now we're going to insert the content of the question and uh, we're going to make this uh, let's see what is the capital of Virginia excuse me Virginia and then click next now we've got our answer choices we can go ahead and type in our answer choices under A, B, C, and D if you want to add selections, you can click the plus sign or you can click minus to reduce the amount of selections. We're going to keep four answer choices. Montrose for C and Charlottesville for answer D. And click next. Now we need to select the correct answer, which is Richmond, of course. And you can see we can add uh, weight to the uh, and points to the question. So we're going to keep it at one point. If we want to type some feedback, we can type that under notes. If we want to insert another question, we click insert another. And then once we're done, we click finish. And you, here you can see our question. Now let's drag to select the question and the answers. You can see we've got all of our question and answers selected here and we want to add a picture so we're going to drag this down a little closer to the bottom of the page. Now we're going to go out to Google which is go to your internet browser. We're going to type in google.com And under Google, we are going to search under Images. This allows us to get to their image database. You want to make sure that you've got Safe Search selected so it doesn't bring up pictures that might be a tad naughty. Um, under Images, we're going to go ahead and search, uh, let's see, Virginia Maps would be a good search. And you can see we have a bunch of different types of maps. I'm going to go ahead and click the second choice. You always want to be aware of copyright too. For this uh, exercise, I'm just going to go ahead and click the generic Virginia map. And I'm going to copy the image so I can paste it into Smart Notebook. And I click paste. And bam, there's the picture. Now I can go ahead and move it around, position it, maybe um, go down to the toolbar, click an arrow so I can maybe point at an area that suggests Richmond. Now I basically have my question. Pretty simple. Now I want to go ahead and add a title page. If you want to insert another question, you can also um, go to insert another. Just go to response. Let's go ahead and insert a title page. And I'm going to go ahead and title this Virginia. 
report you got to type in. You can select the type of quiz, test, or exam. It's just when it records data, you need to know that. And there's our title page. Title page is great because when you want to give a quiz, you can click on the title page and have your kids there until you actually want to start them to start taking the assessment. That way, the first question and the first thing we see. Okay, now we can go ahead and start a class. That's in another tutorial setting up those. If you haven't checked that out, you need to do that first. Um, you can start the class in anonymous mode or select the class that uh, is available. And we can go ahead and begin our quiz. Um, let's go to response and then click on start assessment. And the students can begin. Once they're finished, you'll go ahead and click stop assessment. And that's the end of this segment, this tutorial. Um, please refer to the section on creating classes and uh, looking at data to proceed. Thank you.